Okay, so there's a hashtag that's trending, why I miss being a kid. And I wrote, I just quickly wrote down a, a few things on my uh, Twitter timeline. Um, the first three, like I said, I already wrote. But then I decided, you know, I want to make a list. So I'll go down, including the ones I already wrote on my Twitter. I, I'll reread those again and then also just expand upon some things. But starting with number one, didn't have as many responsibilities. You know, the only thing I had to worry about was listening to mom and dad. Number two, didn't have a care in the world. Like I said, care for, like, I didn't have to worry about anything. Didn't have to worry about what's going on in the real world. The only thing I had to worry about was what was going on underneath the roof of my house. Number three, had an awesome childhood. Um, that's, that's just basically, you know, I mean, I, I, some people, some kids, some people, you know, their childhoods weren't great. I, I, I was blessed enough to have a great childhood, loving parents, brother and sister. Um, it, it was, in looking back, it was great. Number four, didn't have to buy things with my own money. Yep, mom and dad, they, they were the ATM. <laughs> Always be like, oh, do you need some money? We're going with this. Oh, here, give me some money. Like, I mean, I remember this one time when I was going to the county fair. My mom, <laughs> this is really f funny. I was, she gave me money. She's like, here, have a little bit more than that. And then when she's driving, she was driving to leave. She comes back around and goes, here, I don't think I gave you enough. Here's a little bit more money. I wish that's how it worked t today, t uh, to this day. Uh, but number five. This is an interesting one. No big deal missing a day of school or two if sick. Now, as today with work, though, you miss work, you don't get paid. Now, missing school, you can make up your work. Yeah, you might have to miss recess or, you know, hey, if, you can't, if you're lucky enough, you can just get your friends who were there just to give you the answers. Uh, number six, had the summer off. Yes, yes. Good times, good times. Meanwhile, as an adult, you're working all year on unless you're a teacher, but then again, you don't get paid. There's a thing about how you go. You, you can still get paid, but it, go, it goes about how you want to get paid throughout the year. Or if you just want to, uh, you know, if you want to get paid, you'd probably get paid less amounts throughout the year as opposed to if you say, well, I'm going to get paid during the nine months I pay. You get larger amounts, but then you don't get paid in the summer. I believe that's how that goes. But anyway, number seven, this... <laughs> This rings true for me. For some reason, as a kid, I could get by with less sleep. Now, my parents, they did give me a bedtime, but I was able to get up early enough. And, you know, my dad would always be like, it'd be like 5 o'clock, 5.30. He goes, what are you doing up? You know, thinking back, it's like, Dad, um, I went to bed at 9 o'clock, 9.30. So that's eight hours of sleep, you know. But, he, he, you know, my parents were big on sleep. Um, number eight, the future seemed brighter. Yes, the whole world was in front of us. Like, nothing could stop us. And then when you get older, you know, you, you realize, you know, some things, you know, about 1% of people really make it to, uh, you know, the big times. Like, you know, I'm talking about like a sport. Like, I wanted to be an athlete. No, there's no question about that. And like I said, 1% of population probably. Yeah, you can, you can look that up statistic-wise if you want. But I'm just saying, uh, you know, it just seemed the possibilities were really, really endless. Number nine didn't have to work now yes you know i didn't have to worry about you know getting up going uh you know it, the only work was going to school and that was more of like looking back that was more of a blessing than that than a chore or anything i mean yeah you still had to do your work and learn and what have you uh number 10 adults catered to you um well because that was their responsibility taking care of the kids and as i see today um that's now it's like my turn to help kids. Uh, number 11. You saw your friends every day at school. Yes, that was the exciting part of school. You know, bummer, I had to go. But, you know, then there was something to look forward to at least, though, because you were going, you are going to see your friends and, you know, basically more or less hang out throughout the day. 12. Holidays, such as Christmas, just don't seem, I mean, they seem like they were more fun. The anticipation of, you know, waiting for, you know, Santa Claus to come or your parents, as you know, when you got older. But now it's just like, oh, it's just another day. It's just a holiday. And Halloween, you know, I love Halloween. But, I mean, if you don't live in a neighborhood where there's kids, you're not going to get, like, a lot of trick-or-treaters. And then it's like you dress up and go all out for nothing. As a kid, though, I was a trick-or-treat, and that was fun, you know, because, you know, okay, where are we going to go? What all houses are we going to hit? I wonder how much candy I'm going to get. You know, like I said, the anticipation. 
Number 13, I had I had a lot of animals growing up. Uh, hamsters, uh, a lot of cats, a dog, uh, actually a couple dogs, but at separate times. But that was that was fun growing up though with a lot of animals. I just it was just you know a loving house and we just you know enjoyed their company and um, to this day we still have animals but not as much as like we used to. We had a lot of land where I lived on growing up and I was blessed for that as well. Uh, fourteen internet and social media wasn't our way to entertain ourselves. Now I'm not saying I didn't play video games because I did, but during the summer, when it was nice out, I was out either riding my bike or down to the creek, building the dam and swimming in the swimming hole. Uh, you know, and then doing that all day, that, you know, worked up uh, quite an appetite. But, you know, that doing that, that was fun, and I just enjoyed that. Uh, I'll go actually to, since I said about the working up the appetite, I actually had this listed as number 18, but this will be the 15th one overall. I could eat anything and not gain weight. Now... I don't really have that issue as well, but I mean, like, I was for a while when I was a kid, one of the smaller uh, children in my class, and I just thought I just wanted to gain weight. I tried eating whatever I could, and I couldn't, I couldn't gain anything. Now I look back, it's like, well, I wish I could eat anything, like ice cream, and you know, it just didn't put anything bad on me or whatsoever. Now going to that 15, I didn't have to worry about pressing girls. And when you're that, you know, when you're a younger age, you don't, you know, you're not really looking to impress anyone uh you know specifically like me for girls uh you just went up and talked to them or you just played you didn't think about you know <laughs> the <sighs> trying to get to inside their pants i guess more or less <laughs> and which just gets me to my next point 16 be naive that you didn't know about that stuff uh you, you didn't like i said you didn't know about sex you, you just knew the innocence of being a child child was a beautiful thing uh Here's an interesting one. Staying up later was actually exciting. Like I said, going back earlier to my uh, bedtime thing, where my dad, like in the late, like in the summer, he'd let me stay up to ten, maybe ten thirty, because we'd watch South Park, and that was always fun. That that was exciting when we got to stay up later. But now it's like, dude, I don't want to go to bed later. I want to try to fall asleep even earlier because I got to work the next day. Uh, number nineteen. Helping mom and dad was actually fun and not work. I mean, whenever they were doing something, uh, like, like for example, with my dad or anyone, like, mowing the grass seemed like it was fun. Nowadays, you know, it's a chore. It's work. And uh, here's the last one that I have on the list. Running around, riding bikes, and swimming were also fun and not exercise. Like, you know, you just you didn't think about it. You were just doing it to have fun. You were going from point A to point B to see if so-and-so was home and hang out with them and then ride bikes with them, go down to the swimming hole with them. That was, you know, you did all that type of activity, and it, and it actually burned off and kept you in shape doing all that, too. And we didn't really realize it or not, even jumping on the trampoline. Uh, so, you know, if I miss anything, tell me, let me know what you think, what you miss about being a kid. Those are, that's just a list of some of the things that I just came up with. Uh, you know, feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link below for you to check it out so you can follow me. Uh, so with that said, as always, I'm Nam, and always use your noodle.